All right, in this video, we'll be analyzing the 2024 to 25 secondary essay prompts for Albany Medical College. So prompts typically don't change uh, from one year to the next, but we'll update the resources on our website if they do in future application cycles. So Albany Medical College um, has been around for a long time. It was founded in 1839, and it offers a pretty wide variety of clinical opportunities at several facilities in the Albany Med Health System. So just to give a few examples, the emergency department and level one trauma center at Albany Medical Center is actually the busiest in the entire state of New York. And the Glens Fall Hospital emergency department is also unique because their doctors treat a lot of patients with injuries from hiking and skiing accidents uh, up in the Adirondacks. And then the Columbia Memorial Health location is a community hospital with everything from primary care to advanced surgery. So Albany students have the chance to gain experience in a variety of clinical contexts, and that's something worth taking a closer look at as you write your secondaries, but more on that uh, in a moment. So before we get started with the prompts, just a quick reminder to check out our secondary essay library after watching this video, where you can read sample essays for every prompt required by every U.S. and Canadian med school. It's over a thousand essays in total. And be sure to also check out our secondary series here on YouTube, where we share key strategies for writing each of the six main types of secondary essays. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So prompt one keeps it really simple. It asks you to describe yourself in 1,000 characters, which is just about you know 250 words. So since the rest of the Albany prompts give you a lot of other great opportunities to describe yourself too, you may actually want to use this one uh, to make this one of the last that you write. Um, that way you can make sure you don't end up with too much overlap between the other essays. So this prompt is pretty open-ended. So if you're not sure where to start, you might consider taking a look through the AMC core competencies for entering medical students. So pick out a couple that you feel you're really strong in and then come up with one or two mini anecdotes that illustrate those qualities in you. One thing to look out for with this essay is making sure that you don't just rehash your personal statement. It's definitely okay to repeat some of the same ideas in both essays, but make sure you're not retelling the exact same stories or giving ad comms the exact same information about yourself. Every essay should add another layer to the full picture. So if you're struggling to come up with new essays to describe yourself, try approaching this essay from a different angle or mentioning qualities about yourself that you didn't get a chance to cover in the personal statement. Okay, moving on to the second prompt, which is optional, uh, it reads, Please explain any inconsistencies in your university, graduate, or professional school academic performance and or MCAT scores. If the question does not apply to you, please put NA in the box provided. So it's not clear exactly what the word or character limit is for this prompt, but it's probably best to keep it under 1,000 characters since that seems to be the standard throughout the rest of the application. Uh, for this one, inconsistencies in your academic record usually means significant drops in your GPA or MCAT score. So you don't need to respond to this prompt if you just had one or two courses where you didn't quite get the grade you were aiming for. If this prompt does apply to you, though, you can think of it uh, sort of like a combination of an additional information prompt and an adversity prompt. We have more detailed guidance on how to approach both of those essay types in our secondary series. But to keep it brief, you'll want to spend more of this essay explaining how you overcame the challenges that caused your lacking you know, academic performance than you spend actually explaining the challenges. Acknowledge the negative, but focus on the positive. We also recommend that you use some space in the essay to describe how you'll apply the life lessons or skills you learn from this experience to any challenges you face as a med student. All right, so prompt three is also optional. Uh, it reads, has your college or university, graduate or professional school attendance been interrupted for any reason? If yes, please explain. Also, please explain any extended gaps in activity slash employment in your postgraduate history. If the question does not apply to you, please put NA in the box provided. As with the last prompt, there's no stated character or word limit here, but you may want to aim for thousand characters or fewer here since outcomes will already have plenty of essays to read. So this one is a pretty standard gap year prompt, although it's asking you to explain, you know, extended gaps, not only in school, but also in activity and employment. So extended is subjective here, uh, but any gap longer than a few months is probably worth explaining. You may also approach this essay a bit like an adversity essay if your time away from school activity uh, you know, or employment was due to a challenge in your life. But whether you came up against a challenge or you just wanted more time or experience before applying to med school, this essay should shed a positive light on that period of your life. So what did you learn about yourself and your career goals during that time? What choices did you make and what were the consequences or outcomes? Then leave some space to reflect on how you grew personally or professionally during that period in your life. So a lot of applicants tend to think that they shouldn't mention experiences they had during their time away from school if they're unrelated to medicine. But actually, we highly recommend going into detail about any work or volunteer experience you gained. So, Or if you also took time away from work and volunteering during this time, you might write about any personal or family obligations um, that you were you know, tending to. Okay, 
So for prompt four, they ask you to describe a significant challenge that has prepared you for the MD career path. You get 1000 characters for this one. So this is your standard adversity essay. Okay. Unlike a lot of other schools with adversity prompts, the adcom doesn't give any particular criteria for what kind of challenge they want you to share with them. So you sort of get to interpret for yourself what makes the challenge, uh, you know, significant, but a few things to ask yourself when deciding which challenge to focus on for this essay are, you know, what was the biggest period of growth in my life so far? Uh, you can ask yourself, you know, what kind of growing pains you had uh, to go through during that time. As with all of these essays, focus on what actions you took and how you displayed agency in the situation instead of just focusing on things that happened to you. If you already responded to one or both of the previous optional prompts, you may have already written about some of the most significant challenges in your life. In that case, try to find a different challenge to write about for this essay rather than repeating the same story. If you can't come up with a new topic though, use this essay to focus on the second half of the prompt. How has this challenge prepared you for the MD career path? Whichever topic you choose for this essay, try to get as literal as possible when it comes to describing how your challenging experience has prepared you for the MD career path. So describe the skills and perspectives you gain while overcoming the challenge like communication, cultural awareness, or leadership. Then give specific examples of difficult situations you might be likely to face as a doctor and explain how you'd hypothetically use those new skills and perspectives to navigate them. And probably the most important thing to remember about this essay is that it's not a competition uh, of which applicant has faced the most adversity. Um, it's really just about your ability to learn and grow uh, when you encounter obstacles, whatever you know they may be. All right, let's take a look at prompt five. Uh, this one's pretty unique. Uh, it asks you to please describe your personal experiences with the structural and social determinants of health in your life and community, how they shaped your engagement with medicine and your future ideas for doctoring. Again, you have 1000 characters. So this prompt doesn't fit neatly into any category and you may not have any essays you've already written for other school secondaries that can be easily repurposed for this response. That said, a great chance to reflect on how your individual life experiences have informed your ideas about medicine and the kind of doctor uh, you want to be one day. While you're working on this essay, it might be a good idea to look into Albany's various affiliated clinical facilities and get an idea of which ones you're most interested in training at. Um, are you drawn to a particular specialty or community uh, need because of your own experiences interacting with the healthcare system? Or are there any specific needs you observed in your community related to healthcare access? Uh, does one of the facilities in the Albany Med Health System align closely with those goals you've developed? So if you can fit those details in your into your essay somehow, that's a really solid way to demonstrate your fit for Albany and show your commitment to actually understanding and meeting the needs of the communities they serve. All right, moving on to prompt six. Um, it asks, tell us about a community with which you identify and how you are involved with it. Uh, again, you get 1000 characters in your response. So depending on how you approach the previous essay, this one might end up being a sort of continue, you know, continuation uh, or a part two of sorts. Uh, if you focused a lot on how your own experiences or things you observed in your own community impacted the career, you, you know, the career path you want to take, uh, you can use this prompt to dive deeper into your identity as a member of that community, but you don't necessarily need to directly connect this essay to the previous one. So the important thing here is that you take the time to describe a community that has had a major influence on your identity or life experience. And for the second part of the prompt, where you describe how you are involved with the community, make sure to portray yourself in an active role. So your contribution might just be supporting or encouraging other members of the community in small everyday ways, but you wanna avoid coming across as too passive. So if you have led or mentored others, uh, even if you didn't hold an official leadership role, that's definitely worth mentioning too. And finally, it can be a good idea to try to connect your involvement in this community to your future involvement with Albany's community. So do members of this community have something in common with people living in the Albany area? How do you see yourself, you know, fulfilling a similar role um, at Albany as you do in this community? Or maybe you hope to grow into a different role at Albany. What might that look like? All right, nearly to the end here. Uh, it, uh, the next prompt, the seventh prompt reads, uh, is there anything else you would like the admissions committee to know when reviewing your application? If so, please use the space provided. You also have 1000 characters for this one. So although this one is also technically optional, it's the kind of, uh, you know, additional information prompt that we typically recommend most applicants respond to, unless you just have absolutely nothing left of interest to share with that comes. So a really good approach when you're pre-writing or brainstorming for this one is to take a look through essays you've already written for other schools, or you might pick out an interesting prompt, you know, that another school asked, which doesn't overlap with any of Albany's prompts. 
So whatever you choose to write about, it should contribute something new and meaningful to your overall application, and maybe even show a side of you that you know none of the other essays have. Um, considering that none of the essays in the rest of Albany Secondary Application neatly fall into the why us category, we strongly encourage you to consider using this space, um, you know, to write a why us essay that demonstrates your fit with Albany, um, especially if you hadn't had a chance to clearly demonstrate your fit in any of your other essays up until now. All right. Finally, the Eighth prompt uh, first asks you to choose one of your MCAS activities, and then they ask you to describe what aspect of that experience best equips you to make an impact in the medical profession in 1,000 characters. So this one's a bit unique too, uh, just because it's so open-ended. You can take your responses in a couple of different directions. You can write about an academic work or research experience that directly equipped you with skills that you'll build on as you work toward a specific goal for your career in medicine. Or you can write about another experience where you develop one or more of the AMC core competencies. In either case, uh, you want to be as specific as possible um, or you know, as specific as possible about what impact you want to make in the medical profession someday. So it helps to think in terms of, you know, what need do you want to help address or what question do you want to help answer? Then work backward from there, at least while you're in the brainstorming phase. So what would it look like if that particular need got met or that specific question got answered? Uh, what actions would you have to take in order to accomplish that? What skills would you use to take that action? And how did your AMCAS activity help you develop that skill? All right. So that's it for Albany. Uh, we hope you find this useful, you know, while you complete your secondaries for Albany and other schools, of course. And if you'd like to read sample essays for every secondary prompt required by every med school in the U.S. and Canada, be sure to visit our secondary essay premium example hub. We have over 1,000 essays in total. Take care.